I present to you Mint and Toyo's Quantum Mic 1 to 2 inch Model number 293-181-30 And this does include the data output feature Now when you purchase this mic it's going to come in this hard case it's going to come with a one inch standard and it's going to come with these urethane end caps which I advise you keep you need those it's also going to come with a battery and it's also going to come with a spanner wrench now this video is mainly for the people who are less educated on the matter of how these micrometers work and what they're capable of doing I'm going to start off by saying this is a friction lock the purpose of this feature is when you squeeze onto the outer diameter of something and say you accidentally nudge it or move it, it's not going to move, it's not going to vary that number. So obviously you take that off and you can move the spindle around. Now, the other buttons and their purpose, when it comes to hold, say you are squeezing on the outer diameter and you don't want to use the friction lock, just press hold, you'll see that H light up, and at this point, you can move the spindle around, and it's not going to vary that number, it's going to stay the measurement that you want it to. Take off the button hold, and it goes to the actual value of where the, the thimble is located. Now the reason for the buttons zero or absolute incremental is say you have a hundred parts to manufacture, and you set the spindle at a, a designated tolerance. So, if this is the designated tolerance, and that's exactly where I would want it to be, I'd press zero. So, when the next part comes out with the machine, you go to measure it. It's going to either tell you if you're too high, oversized, or if you're too low, which is undersized. So, that way you can determine if the part's scrap or if it's a good part. Now, the button origin arguably one of the most important buttons so you take this one inch standard put it in between the two carbide faces make sure you wipe every surface of dust because even the smallest particle of dust is definitely going to alter the accuracy of your zero and we're going to try this one handed Normally you would want to wring these surfaces together and that's where you actually create a vacuum in between the two surfaces. And that's how it'll stick. So let me put our standard down. Walk in our spindle. And use the ratchet or the friction thimble. Give me one second. Okay. So this is ringing two machine surfaces together. Never mind, give me a focus. Nonetheless, in order to actually zero out the micrometer, which is giving it its reference zero, Press the origin once. It's going to say, hey, this is where you want replacement. Origin again. And you have successfully zeroed out your micrometer. And now that that's done, <clears throat> let's 
separate the two surfaces and put these urethane covers back on your standard. It will last 10 times longer and you'll thank me later. But I hope this review or demonstration has helped you either decide if you are going to purchase this item or maybe it just helped you gain some information on how to properly use the micrometer.